top 10. <laughs> top 10. 10 tips for uh, making the most out of your visit at Acadia National Park. All aboard. Um, number one on the top 10 that we think is ask the locals, ask them where to eat, where to drink, what to see, what to do. Um, we've gotten some really good tips from the locals. Best place we have breakfast was a place called Jordan's. Jordan's yeah. Great blueberry pancakes. Best blueberry muffin ever. Rolls are fantastic. Um, ben said it was the best clam chowder he's ever had. Yeah, yeah. Chowder is uh, super creamy. Um, got potatoes, chunks of chunks of uh, clam. Uh, I mean, it's the best I've ever had. It's it's super good. And uh, Christina's stuck with her chicken fingers. Oh gosh. But I think Look. they were the best chicken fingers she's ever had too. So. <laughs> I love chicken fingers. I'm, I'm secretly six years old. So, um, and then uh, Mount Desert Ice Cream Company was oh, MG. <laughs> what she said. <laughs> it was it was quite delicious. So, um, those are our, were our favorite Bar Harbor restaurants. Um, oh, and then there was a Cottage Street Pub. Oh yeah, if you're looking for a great cocktail, a, a well crafted cocktail. The old fashions were just phenomenal. Yeah, they they bring out the flame, the wood, and fire. And Oh my, it's, it's, it's awesome. It's awesome. Thank you so much. So um, number two on our list is leave your, your vehicle at home. They have what's called the Island Explorer Shuttle Bus and um, it's free. It's free to anybody to use around the Skudik Peninsula, Bar Harbor, any of these areas around the Acadia National Park that this Island Explorer goes. This bus will pick you up literally anywhere. You can wave them down, pick you up anywhere. That um, there's a lot of the buses that go around, so leave your car at home. Don't bother trying to find with the parking spots and stuff. Yeah, and I think this season they've actually added another, I think they said 22 I buses. I don't feel something ridiculous, but parking is, um, is, a, is an issue because this national park, I think all of them, but this national park has gotten a lot busier. Um, so no matter how big the parking lots are, it's just overloaded with people. So this, this bus works out really, really well because you don't have to worry about that. So tip number three is get to Cadillac Mountain to watch the sunrise, but you need to try to get there by about 4 in the morning, 4.30 at the latest. Yeah, because the sun, I think, uh, if I'm not mistaken, this is the earth, it's the, the, the farthest northeast point that this, you can actually see the sun rise. Yes, yeah. in the morning. I mean, we wake up at our travel trailer at 4.30 and it's it's already bright. It's already so, bright. Um, number four on our list is go to some, some local unknown gems to most of the public. We get so caught up in going to all of the the regular places. So we stumbled across um, Seal Harbor Beach and it's not any big secret or anything, but it's a really big beach area. Um, really nice, well kept. It's got public restrooms, a place to rinse off, a uh, um, place to park, and it's not nearly as busy as the other. Not areas. at all, not at all. It's a free beach. Uh, we, we just happened to stumble, uh, stumble along it um, from the loop that we're on. Uh, we took a wrong turn and we Again. ended up there. Again. Yeah. Um, speaking of free, everything is free. There's no charges to get into any of these places. So you do have to have a park pass. Um, I think the cheapest one that you can get is like 30 bucks for the week if you're here. But that covers your whole car load. So what we have is the America the Beautiful Pass. It's about $80 um, a year, but it gets us into all the national parks. We never have to worry about paying any fees to drive through. Um, so tip number five, now this is really important and um, right now it's super important because we were pretty hot today, most of the day, and right now it is so cold, I cannot even tell you, I'm so glad that we brought our jacket. So, um, yeah, be prepared man, especially if you're going to visit in summertime, 
main weather is just uh it's kind of all over the place it could be hot one minute and then cold the next minute uh case in point on our way up here to scudic point uh from bar harbor i believe it's 73 degrees and it's a, it's a less than an hour drive to where, where we're uh, located now and it's now what 60 degrees yeah it was 60 yeah. degrees when we got here so we are in right now we're taking this video at Scudic Point in Winter Harbor. Um, so it's always a little bit more chilly on this side of Acadia National Park. This is the more northern side um, and a little bit more breezy. But yesterday, whenever we were driving around this area, it, I think it was 74 degrees. So yeah. just always bring a light jacket. The sun's really hot, but in the shade and if there's a breeze, it gets really cool. So um, dress for summer, bring a jacket. Step number six, spend a day in Winter Harbor. However you want to get here, if you're staying in the Bar Harbor area, like 26 bucks for a round trip adult ticket. Um, it's an hour and 10 minutes to drive from one to the other, from Bar Harbor to Winter Harbor. If you take the ferry, it's still about an hour, but it's absolutely gorgeous and it's very, very well worth it. So um, we definitely recommend that you spend at least one day in Winter Harbor. A couple of our favorite places here um, to eat was the Fisherman's Galley. Oh, uh, yeah. Matt and Nui, they, uh, they own this place called the Fisherman's Galley. She has a um, hot dog cart with lobster rolls and all kinds of different hot dogs Some of the biggest um, during the day. Jumbo hot dogs you'll ever see. They must be 13 inches long. They're huge. All beef. Yeah, it, but I mean, she's. I think one day I had the um, Thai peanut sauce hot dog, and then one day I had the Hawaiian hot dog. Anyways. Yeah, she's never had anything like that before, yeah. and she absolutely fell in love with them. Yes, so. and fourteen dollar lobster rolls, so you really can't beat that. Yeah, definitely check so, them out. At, um, towards the afternoon, they open up their actual restaurant, which is the Fisherman's Galley, and they have all kinds of stuff that you can choose from to eat there. So. Oh, with the thump, with the. Yeah, you can push. Oh, the, you don't like this. this. Yep. Okay. Yep. Now you just. Just open it up. It opens right up. Ah. Yes. Matt, you're the man. Thank you. Um, also, for breakfast and lunch, uh, J GM Garish's. GM Garish. In, in Winter Harbor. Mm -hmm. Really good. Ben had some um, fresh corned beef hash. Fresh corned beef hash, uh, scrambled, scrambled eggs, cheese, uh, toast, but it was just, and it's all fresh. Mm -hmm. Like, it's nothing's frozen, everything's like made. Order, oh. and you can definitely tell so good okay so tip number seven I have on my list is stay in the National Park when you come here if you're gonna camp stay in the National Park they've got um, Blackwood Seawall and Scudic so we stayed at Seawall uh, which is primitive so no electric no water but there are dump stations and water hookups and then we have been staying at Scudic for eight days and they have electric hookups um, no water hookups but fresh water to fill your tank and a dump station these places are wonderful Immaculate. Um, compared to most of the other campgrounds, the price is a lot better, but you know, it's a two-week two -week maximum stay in any state or national campground. So, um, oh, don't forget, um, most of these national parks uh, have free, uh, free firewood. Yes. Um, they ask for you to be mindful of it and just take a bundle. Um, every day. Every day, mm -hmm. but they generally have free firewood. And if they don't have firewood, there's a ton of places along the side of the road that offer bundles of, bundles of firewood for $2.50 to $3. Um, it's crazy. So you, there's no shortage of firewood. Yeah. And then another thing with the national parks, um, the campgrounds that we've been to, the bathrooms were very well kept. The whole place is very well kept, but the bathrooms were exceptional and they're very clean. Okay, so tip number eight, bring your bike. We have rode our bike more in the past two weeks than we have probably in the past year. It's true. It's true. Yeah. There's just a lot of beautiful bike trails around here. And I mean, you can bring your bike on the ferry, on the Island Explorer. Um, so bring your bike. If you are coming here, bring your bike. You will not regret it. You can ride your bike around Bar Harbor, Winter yeah. Harbor. It's um, the, the bike trails. There's some that are, of course, for you know intermediate to, to bird trails, but a lot of them are quite easy. Yeah, and like she said, if we can do them. Anybody can do yeah, them. Yeah, I mean, it might even come in handy for those who uh, may want to just take the bus around town and just get on their bikes and just, you know, ride the bikes around town. Yeah. Um, you know, better than walking in, in, in some cases, but 
Yeah, and uh, you would not believe how many people ride their bikes around here. We, oh, gosh, yeah. We rode our bike um, when we were staying at Seawall out to the picnic area and just watched the sunset one night and, you know, rode it back to the campground. We've done a couple of bike trails just riding around the campground. Um, the bikes will come in handy, so bring your bikes. For sure. Yeah. Um, and if you don't want to bring your bike, just rent a bike. There's a lot of places to rent bikes. Electric bikes, all kinds of different. That's my next thing, electric bike. Yeah, who wants an electric bike? I do. I think that's a great idea too. Okay, so number nine um, on the list is go to all the, the points of interest that you've read about on the internet and that are a big deal because they're all really well worth it. So a couple that we went to was Thunder Hole, Cadillac Mountain, Jordan Pond, Scudo Point, Blueberry Hill. Um, of course, you want to go down Main Street on uh, in Bar Harbor, Sand Beach, Echo Beach, the Bubbles. Uh, take a cruise on the Margaret Todd. It's this huge, beautiful sailboat. Margo Todd. Um, <laughs> it's an inside joke. Um, there's the two scenic loops, the 27 mile one um, around the Bar Harbor area. It's just called the some kind of a loop. It's the scenic loop. Scenic loop. I mean, it's, it's like a, the only 27 mile yeah. loop around here. So. And when you decide to do that, take the whole day to do it because a lot of these points of interest are on that loop. So, um, 27 mile loop. It's a one way. You can take your time. Um, and then the one around Skudik is probably about six or seven miles. Yeah, at, at the most. And that's where the Skudik Point is, Blueberry Hill. There's yeah, and that's trails. and that's more along the uh, the coast. Uh, as you can see in the background there, it's mainly uh, surrounded by water. So yeah, we're right off of that that scenic byway right now. So um, and then the last thing on on that list was Bar Island, which we didn't get a chance to do. Um, but there's Bar Island and there's a sandbar when the tide goes out you can actually walk to Bar Island and it didn't look like a long walk at all we just got caught up doing there's so much to do so number 10 number 10 this is the most important one slow down relax take your time um, if the parking lot's too full to go see one thing move on to the next thing and come back the next day or you know in a couple hours there's so much to see and do um, just take your time with it. Anything that you go do in Acadia National Park is going to be beautiful and it's going to be fun. Um, all the restaurants have been great. The bars have been great. The people have been great. Phenomenal. I mean, some of the nicest people we've ever come across. Yeah. We, we travel quite a bit. Uh, but yeah, I mean, the people here in Maine are just so helpful and friendly mm -hmm. and nice. Um, and it's beautiful. I mean, it's just so beautiful. You cannot take a wrong turn here. Nope. So this was our top 10, how, how we did um, Acadia. We cannot wait to come back. I think that two weeks uh, would be plenty of time for anybody to come here and have a great time. You're not going to get bored, but next time we come, we want to spend a few months. It's at that least, wonderful. At least three months, if yeah. not longer. Yeah. So, all right, guys. Thanks for listening to our Macmillan Express top 10 tips. <laughs> I couldn't have said it any better. We'll talk to you later, guys. Peace. Meant to be